Hi there, this is Faye from Face World Media. Today, I wanna to give you a quick five minute look at Instapage, a landing page builder that's really popular for marketers and small businesses like ours. And I'll show you how it works, what I like about it, and a few things you should be aware of if you're considering it too. So when you first log in, you are greeted with a very clean dashboard because Instapage is all about building conversion-focused landing pages, dedicated pages for things like ads, campaigns, events, or products. And that focus is its strength. So let's jump right into creating one. You can start from scratch or use one of their templates. The templates are modern and optimized for conversions. The drag and drop editor is straightforward. You can move things like text, images, buttons, all without touching code. I like that elements snap into place so your design doesn't look messy. There are also features like forms, countdown timers, and integrations with email and CRM tools. Here are a few things I really appreciate about Instapage. Number one, speed to launch. You can get a page live quickly, which is great for testing campaigns. Two, customization. Unlike some of the platforms, Instapage gives you a lot of control over design. Three is collaborations. If you're working with a team, built-in commenting and workflow tools save you a lot of back and forth. A-B testing. It's built right in so you can test headlines, layouts, or call to actions to see what works best without having to build dozens of new pages. I'm going to show you how to use Instapage to quickly build a planning page for Soundly's exhibit. You don't have to learn how to code because many of these templates are already there for you. Now, if you do want to choose to build from a blank page, maybe you have something really specific or maybe something really simple in mind, you're welcome to start from scratch. I'm going to show you what it looks like if you build from a blank page. It's flexible. It's not so different from working with their template. This is a blank page and you can build block by block. I like this look and feel because instead of you having to design each and every one, you can see that you have hero images or call to actions. You can filter that down. Even if you have app downloads, you can have all these beautiful mockups ready. So we have the call to action. We have different cards right here. You have checklist, even comparison for products and prices the contact us page, demo request, event speakers, event agenda, frequently asked questions, features, benefits, lead generation, Insta page, pricing views, right? Really powerful. By the way, under dashboard, because we haven't created anything with this account, you can see the reporting is zeroed out. Let's create a new page and look at the layouts. In my opinion, if you are using Insta page for the first time, I actually highly recommend that you consider one of these layouts. Now on the left-hand side, it helps you filter based on a variety of selections like use case. So this is really helpful. Sometimes you need an event registration, like I just mentioned. Sometimes you just need a simple newsletter subscription. Under industry, you have e-commerce, education, business and marketing, pets and animals. Occasionally you need a countdown if you have a product launch. Sometimes you have something for a case study, for a homepage. And is the page after all these years really expanded based on these page types. And there's so much more for you to choose from. Next is style. You can think about the themes. You want something colorful or dark mode or something that's very minimum. Last but not least is color. I know that for a lot of my clients, they're very particular about colors or maybe they have a brand color. For example, red, even if you prefer another color and you're willing to customize it a little bit, you can still choose this template if you're absolutely in love with it and you're able to modify the colors once you go into customization mode. For the purpose of what I'm trying to do, I'm going to say use case. I feel like use case is probably the most popular option to lead with. And people who use Instapage want to build something beautiful, but also quickly. Okay, under my new page, I'm going to click on edit. This is just a blank page because my event is simple. I want to tell people about it and give them a chance to register. Let's get into these blocks, event agenda, call to action, images, something eye catchy. Let's insert that, insert block. You're invited. And by the way, anything you don't want, you can just delete. And this, you can move it up as well. The arts opening reception. You can move elements around. It's easy to change the text color, in this case, into something a little purple if you want, or something red. 
pink, which is a primary button. You can change the size of the button easily. I want to change this image. But to change the background image, click on that and simply upload with what I had in mind. So to change the button name, all you have to do is erase the original text, type in RSVP, and look at the AI generated suggestions. So instead of RSVP, you also have the option to choose from like confirm, join, respond, register. And I like register. So let's click on that and see how it looks. Click on save. Once decided, set up the link. Choose the link. It could be an outside URL, landing page pop-up, on-page link, or file download. So if I choose a pop-up now, Harvard Graduate School of Education, we need more space. Move it down a little bit. Use the register link, which is this link right here. I can click on register, link lineup, and choose an outside URL link. You can choose to open link in the new tab, click on save, and save. I can rename this page, register for September 25th, 5 to 7 p.m. Join us, much better. Join us on September 25th. Save that. We can also see the mobile view. I want the text to be smaller. I can change that. For now, I just want to move things down a little bit. Let's click on save. Back to the desktop version. Click on save and click on the eye icon preview this page. Before you publish, make sure you get rid of any of the blocks that you don't need. Otherwise, it's going to be a very long, empty page. You can absolutely add a call to action like register for emails, but I want this landing page to be as simple as possible. Make sure you save it again. I tend to keep the landing page simple so people focus on the main call to action. We can also call out the location, make sure people can find the place. Down here, I can look at the form block and look for address, location, for example. If I insert this address right here, this block is thrown to the top, but I can easily move this to the bottom of this page. Like So now it's at the bottom, location, Gottman Library. Click on the HTML element on the right. The easiest way is go to Google Map and type in Gottman Library. It's in Cambridge. And then click on Share right here and embed a map. This is where you copy URL. Now you're going to go back, double click here, get rid of what's already in there, and click away. Click on Save. And if you don't want to hide the information, simply type it out. And I want to say link setup, link and save. Can move this up a little bit as well. All right. After we save this, let's look at the page. So you can also change the dimension of the map as well if you choose to. You can choose medium, small, or large. The small may fit better. Personally, I prefer a bigger map whenever I can get it. So I hope you find this helpful and have fun creating these landing pages for your business. So that's a quick tour for Instapage. It's a solid choice. If your main goal is for high performing landing pages and you're ready to invest in a premium tool, there might be lighter options out there, but if conversions are a big deal, Instapage is absolutely worth looking into. Please comment below. Let me know what you feel about Instapage, whether you're like me who have used it many years ago, versus what you need to get done with Instapage today. I'm all ears and look forward to hearing from you.